Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for being here. So sorry to keep you all waiting. Just got to get myself camera ready. Let's go ahead and get started. For anybody new here, hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to my struggle cooking class where I am not a professional chef. I am not a professional YouTuber. I'm sure that will be evident very soon. I'm just a boy mom times two. We have two teenage sons and I am a home cooker. I am hungry. I haven't eaten yet today between meetings. So I'm going to make bang bang shrimp and cauliflower rice for lunch today. Have I ever made them before? No, uh, but I've got a TikTok video that I want to try and just going to put some stuff together um, that I want to eat. I have been on a health and wellness journey. I've always struggled with weight. Uh, finally, in my 40s, I am 46. I have finally found what works for me. And that's working with a metabolic specialist. So right there, I've got a list of foods that I can have. And then there's also a list of foods that I have to avoid. So pretty much for me, I eat a sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free diet. Um, but whatever brings you here, you're most welcome. I do love to cook and I do love to eat. And so, you know, I like to take social media recipes and uh, recreate them. Let's get our fog treatment on the glasses. And I'm going to start with some coffee because I am quite hungry, but I'll sip on that. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. I've got the shrimp and the cauliflower rice in the sink. So let me get my uniform on and we will go ahead and get started. This fog treatment lasts a couple of hours, so I try to remember to put it on right when I get started. Thank you for being here. I'm so happy uh, to cook for you today. All right, so let's see if our side-by-side -side is working. All right, and let's see what uniform we want to wear, pink or khaki. I did do some laundry, so um, we could do either. Feel like I'm wearing neutrals today, so I do have a Maggie uh, merch. The Kim G, thank you so much for being here. I'm thinking of the girls. I think we'll do ice cream this weekend. No problem. Do you have a preference, uh, Kim? Pink apron or khaki apron? I'll let you choose since you're here. I'm gonna get some. Um, Water in the Keurig. And in the meantime, I do have a Zazzle store if anybody wants to check it out. Uh, pink is your favorite color. You got it, my dear. Uh, so I do have a Zazzle store. Aprons are about $20. The one that you're looking at here is the Maggie apron in khaki. But uh, for Kim, we're going to put on the pink. I love pink too. Sometimes I think it's a little bright, but if you like bright, you get it. Absolutely. All right, let me put some water in the Keurig. And this is the color strap apron. Thank you so much, Kim. Yeah, yellow color strap apron. You can customize them for free with your name or whatever you like. We have three sizes. We have long, we have standard, and we have kit sizes. So I'm going to make a quick coffee so I can sip on here. Hope you all are doing well. Happy Thursday. Happy Friday Eve. Are we there yet? All right. Oh. Dress is getting too big. I'm gonna get rid of it. This is the color strap apron. All right, so let me show you guys how I make my coffee and then we're gonna get started on our bang bang shrimp. I'll show you the video that I'm gonna replicate. We'll do a quick cauliflower rice and then I'm actually gonna pull up a chair and eat because I'm home alone and you have me all to yourself. Hallelujah. All right, we have a mug as per usual. Thank you so much, Kim. 
always start with the alkaline drops. Link are in the description. In the Maggie's Cheat Sheet, you'll see these. You can make any beverage alkaline. My metabolic specialist said I need to drink more alkaline water, so just a couple drops and it doesn't change the taste. Uh, I add it to hot and cold. <laughs> yes, happy Friday Eve, y'all. One more day. Y'all know I'm also a huge fan of the skinny syrups. Check the Maggie uh, cheat no, the Maggie class notes in the description if you want a discount code. Um, these are my sugar-free, calorie-free, and car low carb or zero carb sweeteners. So if you like your S Bucks caramel macchiato, we'll make a Maggie Bucks version. So this is going to be our sweetener, our pump syrup. I like it light and sweet. So this is how I stay sugar-free with my coffee. And then for my dairy-free creamer, I'm going to be using the Nut Pods. This one is the um, Almond cre Creamer. Is that clear to y'all? Sometimes it looks like it's wind. Am I ashy? I don't know. Um, but this is our zero sugar um, creamer. It is um, coconut milk and almond milk cream. So that's how I stay dairy-free. So we'll put that in there. Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> so... Give that a quick mix and then for beverage this is what i'm using the mcdonald's salted caramel mocha you can buy the flavored coffees that you can't get inside the store um, so i'm going to put all this in the keurig and brew into here and i'm going to make it fancy because i want to I'm going to do a little bit of whipped cream and a little dash of uh, nutmeg. I usually do cinnamon, but I'm going to try the nutmeg today. Usually I'm dairy-free with the coconut cream or the almond milk cream, but I did get this regular whipped cream from Walmart. I'm just trying to push through, so I should be completely dairy-free, but I will put a little bit of this on top. All right, so if you like your coffee light and sweet like me, let me take a quick taste. Oh, mama. So good. All right. So you can drink it just like that. That's fine. I'm going to put a little whipped cream on the top. Um, 15 calories, one gram of sugar. Should be dairy-free, but... All right, so this could be hot cocoa. For me, it's coffee. Put a little dollop of cream on there just because. We serve it to the kids and then dust it with a little bit of cocoa if it's hot chocolate or put some chocolate chips or marshmallow on there. And then whatever warming spice that you like. I'm going to do some nutmeg today. Usually I do cinnamon. Last time we did allspice. Is that coming out? I don't want a whole bunch. All right, so let's take a quick sip. Ooh, I like it. Kind of earthy, um, very nutty, as to be expected. All right, so I'm going to be sipping on my coffee. Let me get my phone, and I'm going to show you guys this video. If you were here with me yesterday, we did the Bang Bang Salmon, so the sauce is the same. We're going to make the sauce. We're going to use half to coat our shrimp and the other half to top, and then we'll do our cauliflower, cauliflower rice on the cooktop. Good question. Kim G is asking about the marshmallow uh, frosting. Yes, but, and I'll tell you the but in a second. Let me see if I still have some.
so I don't have any because I used it all on our applesauce cake and I just had my last slice of applesauce cake this morning if you missed that it's a two ingredient like protein 12 calorie cake that I eat every day um, and I had a spread you guys are going to often hear me talking about beverages and condiments. One of the brands that I use is Walden Farms. They have sugar-free, dairy-free, gluten-free, calorie-free dips, spreads, sauces, syrups, all of that. And I wanted a yellow cake with a white frosting, so they had a marshmallow dip that I smeared over the entire cake. Now, the way they keep this stuff calorie-free is that they use an apple cider vinegar base. For a lot of the sauces that are supposed to have a little bit of a tang, like the ketchup or the cocktail sauce, it's excellent. But when you go to something that's like a chocolate dip, um, and we could try this, I've got some strawberries, um, we'll give this a try, the chocolate dip, the marshmallow dip, it's good, but the after, it's got like a little bit of a tang, it just takes some getting used to. Um, and I frosted the whole cake and I ate one slice per day. I would probably, I will absolutely make that cake again, but over time, the frosting kind of like, the marshmallow dip kind of started to disintegrate a little bit. So I would probably save it in the jar, in the fridge, and then put it on a slice separate. So basically plain cake and either some whipped cream or some marshmallow dip on it and then eat it right away. I wouldn't put it in the fridge for a few days. That was my experience. But thank you for asking, my dear. But hey, y'all know if you like that, if you like sweets like me and that sugary frosting is a problem for you, that's an option. So maybe we'll do some strawberries because I was thinking about some chocolate covered strawberry yogurt. Absolutely, that's what I'm here for. Y'all feel free to ask your questions. So I'm going to open up TikTok. I did put the recipe in the description. So if you want to see it for yourself um, on your own device, you can absolutely pull it up. But I saved it to my TikTok. Y'all, I'm old. I am Maggie, the substitute teacher on all of these platforms. And uh, I'm making my way around to TikTok. Oh, did it freeze on us? Oh, dear. And I'm back. Technical difficulties always. All right, so let me show you guys the recipe I'm going to make today. This is from My Delicious Life on TikTok. Oh, there's no talking. Okay, so she's going to season with salt. Oh, I'll have to do screenshots. Then she sprays the air fryer tray, makes the um, bang bang sauce. Mix it up. We did that yesterday, so we'll do it again with our calorie-free mayo today. I made it for the kids last night, but this time it's for me. So use half of the sauce to toss the shrimp in there. Let me turn that music down. And then we're going to put the shrimp into the air fryer and cook the shrimp 10 to 12 minutes. And then the shrimp comes out. Excuse me. We'll put it on a nice little tray and put the remaining sauce on top of the shrimp. So it's cooked in the sauce and topped with the sauce. I've got some more green onions. I think she's using chives. We'll garnish it. And then that's a nice little platter. Um, but I'm going to make a quick cauliflower rice. All right. So I'll leave that here on repeat. Y'all know i got to watch it multiple times. Though it's hard to see, right? All right. Sometimes the glare. Okay. So let's see what shrimp that I have. always thank you so much for being here I love cooking for y'all thank y'all for coming back you make my day it looks yummy all right thank you I hope it is all right so I took some shrimp out of the freezer 
And this is what I have. I always like to show you guys the packaging. We're going to start from scratch. So this is Gulf Shrimp. Now, my ex-husband's family retired in the Panama City, Pensacola area, and I didn't even know that Gulf Shrimp was a thing. But if you're in that part of the United States, I guess the water is different. I don't know. But uh, fried Gulf Shrimp, it has like a different flavor to it compared to, you'll see the shrimp that she uses is like that. Uh, white and black uh, striped like tiger looking shrimp maybe more Atlantic but this is what I have give you a phone call put my phone on do not disturb okay so we'll let that keep playing on repeat so this is what I have it was frozen and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and drain it Ooh, Kim G says today's dinner chicken meatballs oh my gosh yeah, is this the one, uh, Kim G, that has the ranch seasoning and the bacon all inside? Oh, Kim G's from Texas, so you know about um, Gulf Shrimp. It is very different. I had to learn. Walmart delivery. Speaking of um, chicken meatballs, you got me thinking about something. I think this might be an extra. But link is in the uh, class notes for a discount for Walmart Plus. If you have a Walmart close to you, you might want to consider their delivery services. No minimum, same day or next day. I don't know why I got two of these, but um, if it's the chicken meatballs that I'm familiar with, they have the a, a powdered um, ranch seasoning in them. But I made some wings for the boys. They asked for ranch, and I didn't have any but my calorie-free. So I got them the regular Hidden Valley Ranch. Oh yeah, the chicken meat, the ranch meatballs. Oh my God. They are good. Y'all gonna talk it up. I'm gonna want some more. All right, so let me turn down the air. We're gonna go ahead and drain this and we're gonna get started. I'm so glad you're here too. Happiness with no carbs, absolutely. Again, thank you all so much for being here. I do stream every day, what time. It just depends on my schedule and the kids. So please make sure you're subscribed if you like what I'm doing and then turn on your notifications. So hopefully when I schedule it, you all get a notification. I think this is just an old school steamer basket. I'm gonna open the shrimp. Since this was frozen, I'm gonna put it in this in the sink just to kind of drain. And this is a one pound bag. I'm gonna cook the whole thing. I may not eat the whole thing. Well, I won't eat the whole thing. Nana may be watching mom's getting her hair done and she's gonna need a ride. And she always seems to know when I am uh, cooking shrimp. So you all can see here, this is our frozen gulf shrimp that we poured out. Since Kim G, you're from Texas, or anybody knows, what makes gulf shrimp different? So this is wild gulf shrimp. It says, wild caught on the Gulf Coast. Grown by nature and full of flavor, these wild gulf, gulf shrimp are caught in the Gulf of Mexico off the coast of the southern U.S. states. Wild caught gulf shrimp are prized for their superior taste and texture. Hmm. All right. You like it? I love it. I want some more of it. All right, so I'm just looking at these in here. Hi, Linda. Linda with my love notes. Thank you so much, my dear. All right, I'm just going to put this on here. I know... All right, I've got a little bit of an ice uh, crystal in here, but I was just kind of checking to see how it's feeling. I took it out this morning before my meetings and I just kind of let it fall in the sink. So we have our gulp shrimp and I'm just gonna let this sit in the sink while we make our bang bang sauce. And I just love saying that bang bang. <laughs> Anybody remember the B-52s? Bang, bang, on the door, baby. Yeah. 
your butt. Tin roof. Rusted. All right, so the bang bang sauce is what we made yesterday, but yesterday it's three ingredients. It's sriracha, which is a hot sauce, mayo, which is mayo, and chili, sweet chili sauce. Yesterday when I made it for the kids, I used full flavor mayo. I'm gonna get both out so y'all can see, but I'm gonna use the calorie-free mayo today. Let's see how that sauce comes out. All right, y'all know I'm not the food police. I always say eat what you like. But if you saw this, we're gonna make that bang bang sauce, which is three ingredients. It's mayo, sriracha, and uh, chili. And I don't know if someone had a chance yesterday to look up how many calories and carbs are in sweet chili sauce, the regular one. So I have this G Hughes sugar-free dipping sauce and I don't count calories, but every once in a while I do turn it over to look. So this sauce is five calories per serving. And if someone could let us know how much sweet chili is um, regularly, Hot sauce, buffalo sauce, any of these sauces are good options. So this is going to be our heat, the sriracha sauce. And you can see this is also five calories. Oh, Condemia's here. Hello, sir. Pearl check. So Condemia has a question about the salmon. It came in one of the grocery giveaway boxes. I know, I lucked out on fish. Um, the package said salmon tails. So it was like that triangular or trapezoid shape. Um, and I just cut them with the kitchen shears. I cut them into cubes um, and we just seasoned them. You know, I, I blotted them dry and we seasoned them with everything from yesterday. But no, it was not already seasoned. I probably would have liked it to have a little bit more salt to it, um, but it was excellent. So salmon tails and it had the skin on. So any skin on salmon filet would work so no bones and you want to try and get your pieces as um, uniform as possible you know when you cook like salmon filet sometimes it has that little curve in it so some pieces are thicker than others ah so Kim is telling us sweet chili sauce is six carbs 25 calories per Google so 25 compared to five. And if you guys, you know, you always hear me talking about beverages and condiments. So let's compare. This is our regular Duke's Mayo. This is what I used yesterday for the boys. So you can see here, 100 calories just for one tablespoon of mayo, 100 calories. This is what I'm gonna to use today for me. This is the Walden Farms calorie-free mayo. So we're saving 100 calories on a tablespoon, and this recipe is a lot more than a tablespoon. So let's see. I don't know if y'all can see, I got a screenshot there. So we need, it's a little hard to see. I don't know if y'all can see that. A third cup mayo, three tablespoons of chili sauce, one tablespoon of sriracha. This is 100 calories. Let me show you guys. Oh yes, Excalibur. You're absolutely right, sir. We're going to use Excalibur again. For anybody new here, Excalibur is our new air fryer because our Struggle air fryer, it had a little bit of a sound to it that y'all clowned me about. So thankfully we have a new air fryer. I'm taking very good care of it. Yes, sir. It was in the air fryer. Okay, so let me get my gravy boat. almost want to go get my new glass bowls, but I'll use the gravy boat. If y'all were here with me yesterday, you know I'll go get them. Nobody's here. I had to put them in a special place. Y'all know we got new dishes. Oh yes, you use ketchup a lot. Absolutely. And for ketchup... <coughs> Y'all always hear me say, eat your calories, don't drink your calories. So look, Heinz 
You can get your regular brands, a lot of them with no sugar added. The kids don't know. They just reach for ketchup and it tastes the same. So Kim, if you would take a look. So this no sugar ketchup is 10 calories. I'm going to go get our glass bowls. Um, Kimmy, if you could look up regular Heinz ketchup and let us know how many calories and how many grams of sugar. So the zero sugar one is 10 calories and zero sugar. So if someone could check regular Heinz ketchup, I'll be right back. Y'all know we're team greedy over here, and I got new stuff that came with the dishes. Oh, somebody wants my Airbnb. One moment. Let's see. So Heinz Kitchen. Oh, hold on. <laughs> All right, we'll get to that in a moment. So Mr. Condemnia says, don't cap on the previous air fryer. I know, right? It didn't make sounds, but it made a serenade. I know, y'all. Y'all were clowning me about our um, air fryer. Oh, I had to get rid of it, but I did have a warranty, and um, I was able to get like a store credit that we used for groceries or something. So Kimmy is telling us, Regular Heinz ketchup, one tablespoon. So let's look apples to apples. Okay, so your regular, this is the Heinz, no sugar. Your regular brand that we all grew up with. One tablespoon is 10 calories and one carb. And on the screen, you can see Kim says the, the full flavor one is four grams of carbs, 15 calories. The kids use more than a tablespoon. Yeah, I'm curious about the sugar too. So the point is this, y'all, I'm not the food police, eat what you like, but I always say watch your beverages and condiments, try to eat your calories, don't drink them, because a lot of the stuff that we put on our food adds oh, so much more stuff that I can't have. All right, so we got these beautiful nesting bowls from our dishes. Let's see how this works. All right, so for the bang bang sauce, a third of a cup of mayo, so let's get a third of a cup. So I'll put this back. I'm going to be using, oh, I'll leave this here so y'all can see. I know people come and go. Um, the zero calorie mayo, three tablespoons, yep, absolutely. All right. So. Sometimes you get a little bit of those dry pieces. All right, so let's see if we can get a third of a cup. Okay, so this sauce calls for a third of a cup of mayo. This is a tablespoon, so y'all can see the difference here. This is 100 calories of the mayo, and this is how much you need for the sauce. So just something to be mindful of. All right, so let's see if we can put our zero calorie mayo. And I will tell you, this uh, amazing mayo, the Walden Farms, um, you can get this at Walmart and different places. Just got to look for it, Amazon. I think link is in the description. This has more of that tang to it, kind of like a Miracle Whip. So if you like more of a Hellman's, like a smooth, creamy mayo, this one's probably going to have more flavor in it than you're used to. But I always love to give you guys options. That's why I'm your substitute teacher. All right, we have a third of a cup of mayo.
and um, let's see. <laughs> I don't know what's in my phone. Uh, three tablespoons sweet chili sauce. So this is the sweet chili sauce that I'm using, the sugar-free option. So we're going to use our new um, measuring spoons that came with our dishes yesterday. Everybody likes nice things, new things. So this is nice. It's got a little holder on it. So let me rinse this off and get the, um, yes, one tablespoon. Oh, it's not. It's three tablespoons of sweet chili. So if you like sweet heat, you will love this bang bang sauce. So one, two, and three. So we're going to use half to cook and then half to top. All right, so we got that on there. And then a tablespoon of sriracha. Sriracha is our Asian inspired hot pepper sauce. Some people love it on everything. So you could use less if you don't like the heat, that's fine too. All right, I'm gonna rinse this off, keep it clean. All right, so I know y'all like the close up. We got the bang bang sauce with mayo, sriracha, and chili. Our little nesting balls. Now this is my calorie-free mayo. Yesterday I used the regular, so let's see how this comes along. Let me use a spatula. I don't like all that extra noise. So apparently bang bang is the thing, right? When I was looking this up, there's so many bang bang shrimp recipes and I saw one that looked like a fried shrimp and then they kind of toss it in this bang bang sauce. I don't go out to eat much because I cook all the time, but maybe every once in a while Maggie gets to go out. Um, so I don't really know what's trending save for social media. But it looks like it mixed pretty well. So I don't know if anybody, if we have any Bang Bang fans here, let me know. So to me, it kind of has the consistency of a thousand island dressing. Calorie free mayo. I'm not sure happiness with no carbs. I've seen people make their own mayo. What is it like egg yolks and vinegar or something like that? Let's taste it. Ooh. It's very forward with the vinegar, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Because I use this mayo instead of this mayo, it's got a lot of forward tang and then the heat on the back end. I like it, um, but just letting you guys know. All right, so let's clean up. stuff out so let's put this stuff away and then it's allergy season where I am so oh. All right, so we have our bang bang sauce here. We'll just move that for a second. And then if we go back to our video, she's gonna take half <clears throat> and we're gonna coat. Oh, what does she season the shrimp with? I missed that. All right, y'all. Oh, you like the bonefish grill bang bang shrimp? What did she put on her shrimp? Let's see, I gotta go back to it. They go so fast on these reels, y'all. You know, I don't know, but it's gonna cook fast. 
and then we're going to top it with the leftover sauce. I wish there was a way to go back to the beginning. It's frustrating for me. All right, let's see. What did she put on there to season it? I just got to look closer. Let me get a screenshot if I can. Okay, got it. That's what I have to do, y'all. Trying to show y'all these people. All right, so on the shrimp, we're just going to do salt and pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. All right, so let's move this over here. All right, so let's get a plate. Oh. All right, so we have our Gulf shrimp in the sink. Get another towel here. So you all can see, just move our sauces out of the way. Yeah. Kitchen towel woes. All right, so this was frozen. It's mostly thawed. So I'm just going to place them here. This is tail off, peeled and deveined. Oh, it's hard when you're hungry. It's like going grocery shopping when you're hungry. I just want to jump in there and eat my way out but thank you all for being here it disciplines me to wait to eat until i live stream for you all i'm trying to get the rest of this weight off we're gonna do it we're gonna do it i'm just putting the shrimp on a plate in one even layer so that when i season it generously every piece of shrimpy gets some nice love and then we'll move them into the air fryer. <clears throat> and she didn't have measurements for the seasoning, which I like. So I'm just going to season liberally. You know, shrimp has a, even Gulf shrimp has a nice flavor, but it is a milder flavor. So I say season the way you like. And then I got this big old chunk. All right. So we're going to do salt and pepper first. That's easy. Whoa. It's funny. Dresses are becoming too long. I'm tripping on them. I am maintaining at least an 80-pound weight loss. I got 20, 40 more to go. Um, but as I get smaller, the clothes kind of, they fall off. Good problem to have. All right. So this is pink Himalayan salt. I know it's kind of hard to see and y'all like the close-up but I'm seasoning it well so if you're doing the salmon version that we did yesterday I will probably do a little bit more salt than I did and um, let it sit for a minute so that it can kind of really get in there and then cracked black pepper have y'all seen the pepper grinder the electric one with the light Maybe I ought to treat myself to one of those. It's so fancy. You just hold it and it's like, meh. Ah, look at the mayo recipe. I love how y'all help each other. I am your teacher. You are my scholars with the live chat is study hall. All right, so we got salt and pepper on here. So feel free to pass notes. God, I hope I don't sneeze. All right, so she said salt and pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. So we got our onion powder and garlic powder. Let's make sure the top is on well. That could be a problem. So I'm just going pretty liberally. Onion powder. And the garlic powder. 
Ooh, very fragrant. So we got a nice dusting of seasoning on there. All right, so now, for the recipe, she says use half. So I'm gonna get a bowl. I'll let you guys see. I'm gonna get a bowl and we're going to put the shrimp in the bowl. We'll do half of the bang bang sauce in the bowl. It's a little bit overkill, but it's fine. So we're going to put half of the sauce, so we'll just go with like the recipe says use half of the sauce. Oh, sorry y'all. And we're gonna put all of the shrimp in here with the sauce. And then we're going to, you can see here after she makes the sauce, we're going to gently fold our shrimp into the bang bang sauce. Let's see, she, yeah, use half to coat. Yeah, that's where we're at. So I just want to make sure that all of these shrimpies get a nice layer of bang bang sauce so I know y'all like to see so this is what we have so far all right and then it looks like she just put it in the air fryer but she sprayed the tray <coughs> so we got our new and shiny air fryer I'm still going to use a foil bar drip tray for Excalibur So we got our Reynolds wrap. This is just for easy cleanup. And then we're actually gonna place the shrimp on this wire rack, but if you saw, she sprayed her air fryer first. So I'm gonna get my coconut oil spray. So this is the refillable sprayer, link is in the, um, cheat sheet you can put any oil of your choice I am using the coconut oil the MCT oil that's approved for me all right so this allows you to use your oil in a spray version so you can avoid some of those aerosols if it's important to you plus buy one product use it both ways all right so it looks like she's just gonna put it directly on the um, I don't know I'm part of the mastermind let's see I think she just put it on there. Yep, we coated our shrimp. I think I just want to dump it out and spread it out, but let me see if she did anything fancy. Okay, no, we'll just put it on here. I kind of feel like I should use tongs and not be so savage. If it were just me, I would dump the whole thing. <gasps> Thank you so much for the pounds. Kind sir, thank you so much. Miles, one of our scholars from across the pond and uh, you know, condolences to all of our UK family. I know uh, the passing of the queen, she was quite legendary. So my condolences, but thank you so much for being here. And Miles, you like shrimp. So we're making one of your favorites. This is Bang Bang Shrimp. So this is Gulf Shrimp, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and our Bang Bang sauce. Yes. All right. So now I want to act right. I just want to dump it, but so I've sprayed this with uh, some of the coconut oil. And again, you want to just kind of get your shrimp on here flat in one layer. If you notice how she did it, um, air fryer is basically a convection oven, which is an oven with a fan. So it cooks faster and uh, it cooks um, 
crispier so it actually blows the heat around your food and just like I put it on the tray to season I'm just literally putting all the shrimp down on one side I am not going to turn them because <clears throat> they'll be in the air fryer like this so we'll get air on the top and bottom and again the bang bang sauce is um, mayo I used my calorie free mayo sriracha um, and a sweet chili and I'm using a sugar-free chili sauce the G Hughes brand so just getting this on here y'all you could do this with any protein if you were with us yesterday yes thank you so much miles if you were with us yesterday we cut up salmon and did the salmon bites this could be chicken bang bang chicken I don't know is bang bang unique to seafood y'all know I don't know but if you like this kind of sweet heat with a little bit of creaminess, could you do bang bang steak? Could you do bang bang tofu? Could you, you know, I don't know y'all. That's what I do, you know, as far as my cooking, y'all know I'm the daughter of a retired home economics teacher. Nana will be here later today. She's out getting her hair done, so I'll have to pick her up. Whenever mom was cooking, my dad said, Maggie, in the kitchen. So, I like to say I've been cooking since 1842. But, you know, when you get a recipe that works for you, I just experiment with it. That's what I said. You know, a lot of cooking is really just experimentation. If it works, y'all will know. And if it doesn't work, y'all will know. Um, but this could be a nice... Um, you know, presentation, appetizer, or we're going to make cauliflower rice. Oh my gosh, Miles, this is exactly what I said I was going to do for you. I'm so glad you're here. So we'll get this in the air fryer. Let me just get all these little pieces in. I'm going to do it all on one tray. One second. Y'all, I put my phone on Do Not Disturb. And it just keeps coming through. All right. Almost done. I don't like for the meat to overlap because I want every piece to get a little bit of, um, well, a lot of the heat and the fan. So it crisps up. All right. We got all that tucked in there. Okay. Okay. So this is what we have. So we have our bang bang shrimp and this is gonna go in the air fryer. I think it said 400 for eight minutes. Let's see if we can find it. Y'all know it's fast. All right. So we made our sauce. Yep, we did that. I wish with these reels, and I checked, she doesn't have the actual recipe. So use half to coat, we did that. And then air fryer, 400 for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, got it. 400 for 10 to 12 minutes. Hey, Mona, thank you for being here. So this is going to go in Excalibur, so our bang bang shrimp. So we've got 400 for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna clean up, take just a moment, and then we're gonna start on our cauliflower fried rice. Actually, let's see if I can get to a good stopping point because it may need the microwave. Let's just clean up since we had raw fish in there. So if you've ever had fried rice at an Asian inspired or Chinese restaurant, um, you know, it's like rice with, well, you may not know, but it's rice. They add some mixed vegetables to it. Oh, I was going to do some green bean in mine. Yes.
usually it has peas and carrots. I did peas and carrots for the boys yesterday, but I eat the lower starch veggies, so I'm going to do green beans since I'm doing cauliflower. So I put this in the sink to thaw out. Let me get another towel. All right, so I think this just came from Walmart or I can't remember. Now I know this says cilantro lime. You don't have to get the flavored rice. I was probably thinking of this for one of our like taco nights, which we haven't done in a while. Maybe I need to do tacos for the boys. Um, but this is basically cauliflower uh, grated into little rice pieces. So it comes frozen, what does it say? Gently squeeze bag to break apart pieces. I had it in the sink. Place one frozen unopened bag in the microwave with the package facing up. So this goes in the microwave for like three to four minutes. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take this to the struggle microwave. Y'all know my microwave here is uh, not working. So we're working on getting some stuff replaced. So I'm just gonna mute and give you guys some music. I'm going to take this, oh, take this to the microwave and I'll be back. Ah, oh, cilantro, lime, your favorite. I'm so glad you like it. All right, so let's do this and be right back. All right, so, oh yes, thank you, Mona. My apron dropped. We've got our um, rice in the microwave. I'm about to grab that and we're gonna get our cooktop out. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can make rice. Uh, this is gonna be a cauliflower rice version, but it's gonna be the same if you have fresh rice or leftover rice. Don't toss it, you can still use it. We did it yesterday for Marcus's uh, fried rice. All right. So our air fry, our bang bang shrimp is in the air fryer. Let's go get our rice out. 
and oh, let me get the cooktop. So excited about our new cookware, y'all. In case anybody missed the reveal yesterday, I found some cookware in the garage that I've had for years and it's non-stick and it actually works on our cooktop so we can give the cast iron a little bit of a rest. This is the duck's top. Link should be in the cheat sheet. Got it from Amazon. So this is my induction top that lets you guys see what we're doing. I meant to get my pot and I didn't. Be very careful with steam bags when they come out of the um, microwave. You know, they blow up really big and then they kind of, uh, um, you know, deflate. So we're going to open this up and then I'm actually going to strain it just because I want as much liquid out as possible. Anytime you're cooking from frozen, you're gonna have those ice crystals in there. And we want a crispy fried rice. We don't want a soggy fried rice, but you all can see it's basically cauliflower cut into the shape uh, of rice kernels. They're not called kernels. What are they? Rice something. Pieces? I don't know. Sorry, I went to go get my special cookware. Yes, I'm hiding it because I don't want the kids to use it. It's just for our class. All right, so this was a Black Friday deal that I got years ago. The brand is Tasty, just like the um, the channel. They have a channel on TV, so it's nonstick, which is going to be great, but it's metal on the bottom, so it actually works here. All right, so first thing we're going to do with the cauliflower that we just steamed is I'm going to squeeze out the liquid. Now be very careful because it's hot and hard to do by hand, but I wanna try and get it as dry as possible. So let me get another bowl. Let me move this for a second. So I'm going to put a towel over here. I wanted more of a tea towel, but this will work. So I'm going to put the cauliflower rice here. And cauliflower by itself is, you know, pretty bland. But you guys can see it's kind of moist. We'll let it sit for a second because it's still very, very hot. And I don't want to burn myself again. Let's check on our shrimp.
it looks okay. I think I want a little bit more brown. I'm going to taste one. She said 10 to 12 minutes, and I did 10. We got a couple crispy bits, but a lot of it still looks kind of, you know, softer than I would like. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. Flavor is excellent. I think I'm going to hold, unless y'all say more, we're going to cover it with the uh, sauce, but I'm going to put it in the air fryer for now. Flavor is excellent. Mm. I wish it looked a little bit more golden brown like hers. Hi, Genesis One. Thank you for being here. Always so active in the comments. I understand, y'all. This is the real world, so come, go, uh, arrive late, leave early, do what works for you. I'll be here for you every day. So this is our cauliflower rice, and I don't know if y'all can see the ring of liquid. So I'm just going to try and get this together. Oh, God. It's steaming hot. And try to squeeze. I think someone said they rinsed it with water before they squeezed it. I'm just getting in there with my hands and burning myself. See if I can wring it. All right, so y'all see what I'm doing. And you can see I wanted to get this liquid out. All right, now. We have our, where is it? Our cauliflower rice in here, dryer. Hopefully y'all can see. Now we're gonna put it in the skillet with some oil and some seasoning. All right, so let's get our, because we're ready to make this fried rice and it doesn't take long at all. And then I'll pull up a chair and I'll chat and chow. Let me drop the link in case anybody wants to chat. You do not have to cam up. So let me bring my cooktop back and we're gonna put a little bit of oil. Even though it's nonstick, I'm still gonna put a little bit of oil because I want that crispiness. So I would just get a nonstick skillet. I have a new one, very exciting. All right. I'm gonna use the coconut oil that's approved for me. You can use any oil of your choice. Maybe a nice sesame oil would be good. And I'm going to turn this down to like a medium low until I get everything together because sometimes I'm slow. Excuse me, this is what I'm using, my coconut oil MCT. Just a little bit to coat the pan. Okay. So nice and new. Let's see. Y'all know I just lift and move it around so we don't have any dry spots, any hot spots. All right, so now I'm going to put the cauliflower rice in here. Cauliflower rice for me, this could be takeout rice. It could be yellow rice. I just squeeze the water out of it. MCT is medium chain. Um, I want to say technology because I work in tech. Let me find it for you. Medium chain triglyceride. Something about how the body absorbs it, I don't know. But you can hear our rice is starting to sizzle, so I want to get this seasoned up and get it nice and crispy. So let me move it around a little bit. This pot is bigger than we need, but it's fine. I'm just going to break up the clumps. Oh, I didn't show y'all, but... Is reaching in the trash. This whole bag of cauliflower rice is 75 calories. The whole bag. So you could toss an egg or two in here. Put my hands again. All right. So break up the clumps. You hear it starting to sizzle. I'm going to toss in some seasoning. All right. 
Let's start with the basics. Salt and pepper. Again, cauliflower is kind of bland, so you really want to give it some good flavor. My hands are wet. And I'm going to do onion powder, onion powder, garlic powder, and then I'll do soy sauce for me. I don't think so. I'm not sure. You know, there's a lot of opinions about oils. Some are natural, some are laboratory made. Oh, garlic powder, whatever you want in your rice, fried rice, onion powder. And then, so this is the one that's been approved for me, but um, you know, there's a lot of opinions about oils and what they do in the body. Some of them you absorb well. Some people like avocado oil, just tasting good. Soy sauce for me. So this is my gluten-free Kikoman soy sauce. I can have soy. I know some people don't and I don't give it to the boys. So for them, we use this coconut amino. So if you want to avoid soy, this gives you your soy sauce experience without soy. So I'm going to put soy sauce in there. And let me see if I have some rice wine vinegar. A little red wine vinegar. I do have the rice wine. I haven't opened it yet. Oh, giving me that. All right, and then now I'm going to give it one more taste. Excellent. Ooh. Um, for the egg, what I do is I make like a little hole in the rice. This is how I mark is how to make it. And then once we've got the rice the way that we want it, oh, I probably should have put my veggies in here. What was I gonna do? Green beans. You don't have to do veggies. And I know these are frozen, but it's just, I don't want that one. For a little bit of color, usually it's peas and carrots, right? So we'll just let that heat up a little bit. Peas and carrots would be a better color, but that's a little starchy. Y'all, the chili is coming. Soy, dairy, and wheat. Yep, absolutely. So coconut aminos would be your friend. So this is your soy sauce without soy. All right. So whatever vegetables could be bean sprout, could be that bok choy, whatever vegetables you have on hand or that you like. Sriracha opens you up. Huh. All right, so now I'm going to make a little hole. And the, the heat is on low, but I'm just pushing the rice to the edge. You're welcome, my dear. Absolutely. Sorry, y'all. I'm going to try and move fast. I'm going to use two whole eggs and I'm going to crack them in the middle. You could do one. Let's do one. If you want extra protein, you could do two eggs. That's a great, um, let's do two. Yeah, let's see how it looks with one. You can always do more. So then what I do, just kind of scramble the egg in the middle. So mild, I hope you're still with me. Just kind of scramble, let me turn it up just a little bit. Scramble the egg in the middle. And I'm using nonstick. I did put a little oil down. Just get that in there and then mix it all together with your rice. This is a great snack. Marcus makes this on his own. So you can get your fried rice. You can imagine it with your peas and carrots. Let me go ahead and turn this down. 
and then we'll give it one more taste. Y'all, I think I'm going to eat this whole thing. It's not a lot, right? We'll start with a little bit. Let's taste. Excellent. And then if you want it a little bit fancy, You could do bagel seasoning or sesame seeds. Genesis has a question about the eggs. I have heard, I don't know about the color of the eggs. This is just sesame, sesame seeds. And then you could do more soy sauce or coconut aminos. I have heard, you know, pasture raised is the best. You know, I always say start with what you have. But I don't know about the color of the eggs, but if you can get, you know, happy chickens from a farm that walk around and all that stuff. You know, even better. You know, that's what they say. Let's try our um, fried rice. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to plate. You're welcome. And um, make some tea. Am I going to make a tea? Yeah. And I just want something to drink. <clears throat> Unfortunately for me, I gotta move stuff because the gong gongs, but let's go ahead and uh, plate because honestly, I'm hungry. We'll make a beverage another day. <gasps> Miles, again? You like it? All right, let me plate it for you. So if you guys saw this, let's see. Let me see if I can make a fancy plate for Miles. So you saw what she did with hers. She did a, um, you know, I think I'm gonna eat, this might be a one meal a day, this whole thing of cauliflower rice. All right, let me not be too greedy. Let's start with just a little bit. Y'all already know. Team Greedy over here, but I'll cover it up neatly. I wish my Bang Bang shrimp were a little bit more brown, but let's see. And yes, I am going in I usually, you know, double up on the protein, so I'm gonna eat half of the shrimp. I might need some more rice just for the presentation. Let's see. Greedy. All right, let's put the bang bang sauce over top. I think I need some more rice on the side just for, yeah. Sometimes when I'm ripping and running with the kids, I only get one meal a day, which is fine, but I want it to be a nice one. And then I'm going to do, I know she spooned on the bang bang sauce, but I want to do something a little bit Oh, I love these new pots. All right, so this is what we have so far. Aw, thank you, Genesis. You never, never, never apologize. You don't ever have to worry about that. I love having y'all in the comments. All right, so we have half of our sauce left over. I wanna drizzle it on here neatly, so I'm gonna do my sandwich bag thing again. So we'll get A cup. Oh, I forgot. Uh, almost forgot. Sandwich bag. 
use the cup for structure, put it around. I wanna do a nice little drizzle since Miles is here. All right, so I'm gonna get my, oh, we'll just use the spoon and we're gonna scrape it inside the Ziploc bag. So this is the other half of the bang bang sauce. So we cooked half. So I'm gonna eat all of it. So again, these condiments, I'm using my calorie free mayo, but imagine if I had used full flavor everything. The shrimp and cauliflower rice is not bad, but might have more calories in the mayo. Mm. All right, take it down to the corner. And I'm going to cut off a little bit of the tip away from my food. And let's see. And almost done. Let's do a little bit of bagel seasoning. just for specks of color. And then lastly, where are you? All right. I got some green onion. She used chives. I have green onion. I like onion. If you don't, that's fine. All right, class. Your lunch is ready. So let's clean up really quick, just enough to take a picture. And then of course we're gonna taste and I am going to inhale. Okay, try not to look so good. Miles, thank you, sir. I thought about you because I didn't have my cauliflower rice when you asked last time. So now hopefully you can get your shrimp fried rice. This is a nice meal to impress. Never made it before, but it doesn't stop me. And then we can have, you know, a little soy sauce on the side, those little things. Oh, you know what? Y'all know I got to do my cookbook picture. Bear with me. Try to hide the disaster that was around. Got that. And then you can put your... <clears throat> you know, if you have like these little things or this little thing, you could put the extra like bang bang sauce in there. guilt-free because it's the calorie-free mayo. And then, one more for soy sauce or coconut aminos. Go Maggie, huh? that never made it before but we did it together all right let's take a quick picture I'm not even gonna mess with these chopsticks y'all it is just for the photo let me tell you something we're about to sit down with a knife and fork I'll put the Y'all, it does look good. I can't wait to dig in here. Get up on it. You know, I take all my own pictures. So y'all will see them on the community tab. All right. I'm hungry. Ooh, white rice with egg and soy sauce so y'all can see. All right. One time to try and be authentic with some shrimp.
Oh my god. Uh huh. Mm hmm. It's good. Woo! I know you want it. One moment. Oh yeah. It's so good. I'm not messing around with the chopsticks. I'm gonna bring y'all down. I'm gonna eat with a fork. Answer your questions. I got a little time before my next meeting. Hold on. So y'all don't get motion sickness. Y'all, this is so good. So good. Let me get the chair. Forgive me for being inauthentic, but Maggie is hungry. We're going to eat. We are going to eat today an undisturbed meal. All right, here I am. Oh, let's have lunch why don't we uh oh my dress got caught up in the wheels y'all i am so excited about this but yes now you know how to make fried rice um with regular rice or with cauliflower rice mm -hmm. honestly y'all i can't tell that it's cauliflower now i will say this the chew, let me come closer. Whoa. Cause you know that rice, when you bite down onto it, it kind of, oh, didn't mean to do that. You know, stop. Oh dear. I turned on the dishwasher by accident. You know, rice, when you bite it, it will bite back. This kind of gives way, you know, it's softer than proper rice, but, mm-hmm. As far as the flavor, put some more sesame, oh, crap, that was onion powder. I thought it was the sesame seeds. That's what I get moving too fast. Let me slow down and eat. Mm. I almost feel like I should have like red pepper or something a little bit um for color but y'all it's good you know if you had peas and carrots you'd get that color y'all can do this you would eat this mm -hmm. sorry y'all i'm all greedy Mm-hmm. So good. Oh, cucumber. That sounds great, Miles. So just like cucumber, like on the side. I know that's very British. Um, like sliced cucumber. <clears throat> what else would you all do with this? Got some heat on it. I'm not even gonna lie, that red chili and that sriracha. Mm hmm. But yeah, if y'all saw this, you would just think I was eating fried rice. But zero sugar, zero dairy, and zero gluten. Because the green beans were frozen, they're kind of crunchy, a little bit like al dente. I've seen people do this as like a breakfast scramble. So the whole bag of cauliflower rice, which is 75 calories, 75 calories. Mm. For that whole bag of rice versus 100 calories. For this much mayo so 
you know, I always say it's not what you eat from time to time. It's what you eat all the time. So if you're heavy on the condiments like I used to be, I want more green onion. See if you can find some substitutes for the condiments. Keep eating the same food. You'd be surprised. You may, you know, notice some changes just with the diet changes. I used to be pre-diabetic. I used to have elevated cholesterol. And I used to have borderline blood pressure. All of that is normal now with no medication because I've completely changed the way that I eat and snack. <clears throat> and I feel amazing when I eat on my plan. Y'all know we all struggle, but we get back up and we keep going. Mmm. starting to get full. I probably will stop. So I've got a little bit of time. Do you all want me to try the chocolate covered strawberry? Oh my gosh. Look at the chocolate solution. Oh my gosh. My, you, you, I just talked you up. Oh, thank you so much. Chocolate solution kind of overdid it with the food. So I'm going to pause on eating right now, but I have a sweet tooth. Oh, and thank you so much for the $10 super chat. Incredibly generous. Y'all, I always say, I didn't think anybody would care about this when I started my channel. <clears throat> Every time you show up and you comment, oh, Miles, good night, sir. Um, got to go to sleep. I understand. Thank you so much, Miles. And I'm glad you got to see your fried rice. All right, so, but when you go above and beyond, it means the world to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So chocolate solution. I wanna do a quick like fruit dessert and I will let you choose. I have a Walden Farms chocolate dip, like a calorie-free chocolate dip I've never opened. I was gonna try that with some strawberries or something I have made before that I love, yogurt with my sugar-free chocolate syrup and dip the um, strawberries in that. And I'll show you guys, excuse me, one of the ways that I enjoy chocolate without the guilt. So chocolate solution, chocolate dip, or chocolate syrup, your choice. Y'all, this is really, really good. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I've had cauliflower rice before, and I'm kind of like, yeah, you can tell. That's no good. But this was the cilantro line frozen cauliflower rice bag. I microwaved it. Squeeze as much liquid out as you can. That is the key. You want to get it as dry as possible so that when you pan fry it, it gives you a little bit of crisp. You don't want it to be wet and mushy. So squeeze out as much liquid as you can. And then I just did salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, um, soy sauce if you can have it, and vinegar if you can have it. Crack an egg in the middle, scramble it up, and then top top with the shrimp. It is so good, and it's so satisfying. All right. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and um, stand up. I'm not seeing anything, so I'll wait one more minute. I'm going to get the strawberries out. Do we want to do the chocolate dip or the chocolate uh, syrup with you? Oh, ah, good. That's what I was hoping for because I know it's going to be good. Chocolate solution. You got it. Here we go. All right, <clears throat> I will save my rice for later. All right, hold on, don't get motion sickness. I don't do one meal a day intentionally. Sometimes it just happens that way because I'm busy with the kids or between meetings. So when I have a big plate, to me, this is a big plate. Um, I'll just put it like in the microwave for storage and then I'll eat the rest of it later. Um, but yeah, y'all, this is excellent. Absolutely excellent. All right. So we got our pictures for our presentation. All of that was good. All right. So I'm going to show you guys. I don't know who it was that said they got the chocolate espresso skinny syrups. 
let me show you guys. If you're craving chocolate covered strawberries, I have a hack for you. Sugar free, dairy free, gluten free, as always. All right, let me put my apron back on just so I don't <sighs> look a mess. I haven't made this in a while. <clears throat> I move this out of y'all's way so it's not as much of a disaster. I'll show you guys the dessert. Oh, Chocolate Solution says, I've been planning to support for a while. Oh, thank you. I've been following TLA since What Are You Thankful For stream at the beginning of the year. Oh, you cook too. So naturally, my channel drew you in. Thank you so much. Y'all know I'm a proud student and lead attorney. Uh, Mastermind will be meeting tonight. And, um, you know, lead attorney, I finished his course. And, excuse me, I am 46. And uh, he said, those of us over 35 need to start a YouTube channel because we have life experience that people want to know about. So thank you for being here. <clears throat> All right, y'all, I am going to do this. Oof. We'll do our red pinch bowl. I'm very excited. Y'all know we got new dishes. All right, so this is a three ingredient dessert and thank you so much, Chocolate Solution. This is dedicated to you. Thank you for the super chat. Y'all don't even have to be here, but when you're here and you support like that, it means the world. All right, so this is a chocolate, uh, three ingredient chocolate covered strawberry hack. So get any yogurt that you can have. Y'all know I'm dairy free, so I am using this. This is the coconut milk dairy-free yogurt from So Delicious. And you can see I have unsweetened. Be careful with yogurt. A lot of them have extra sugar. You can see here, this is like under a gram of sugar. <coughs> so it could be Greek yogurt for you. It could be plain yogurt for you. Whatever works for you. I go with the dairy-free, sugar-free option. All right. Oof. Yogurt always pops up. All right, so I'm gonna put a heaping spoon in here. So we'll get some of that plant-based protein, get a nice big spoon. All right, I know y'all like the close-up so you can see this is just like plain yogurt. And if I taste it, plain yogurt, kind of coconutty, I like it, but okay. Now, or as Lee attorney says, nah. I can't even do it. I don't have that voice. I'm not supposed to. All right, let me scrape that up. Y'all know we're team greedy. Don't you fall. <clears throat> All right, we don't want to waste anything. Groceries are expensive, and I don't eat much anymore, so I want to enjoy what I have. All right, y'all, here is the secret. Skinny syrups, you can use any chocolate flavor that you like, but this one right here, this salted dark chocolate espresso, these are my sugar-free, calorie-free, uh, gluten-free syrups. This one is a special line. You can see it's their signature series. You can put it in a smoothie. You could put it in a milkshake. You could put it in, you know, anything, um, coffee. I'm going to put it in the plain yogurt. And I can't remember if this one, the last one that I did was white mocha, so it doesn't change the color. Let's see, this one probably will change the color a little bit, and that's okay. You can get these syrups at Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. You can see this was TJ Maxx, $3.99. Someone said Tuesday morning. Um, any of those stores, go to the back where they have the gourmet foods, and you'll find the skinny syrups, or you can order online. Oh my God, such a rich chocolate flavor. So I'm gonna put just a splash in here with the yogurt. Do it to taste. Start with a little, and then you can do a lot more if you want. And we're gonna mix this up. So this is how you get your sweetener and how you get your um, chocolate flavor. 
They have one that's a white mocha and the color is white. So it's quite a surprise because it doesn't change the color of the yogurt. So you think you just have regular yogurt and then you dip in there. Oh, mama. All right, so let's get this mixed up and give it a taste. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I love, 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 love this stuff. All right. So we've got our chocolate, sugar-free chocolate syrup mixed in here. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. I want a little bit more. It's good. All right. I like extra. Why be regular when you can be extra? So let's just... If you like those fruit trays that have the sugary uh, yogurt dip in the middle, we've done this before with like vanilla flavor. And even though this is chocolate, you see it didn't change the color too, too much. All right. And just to be extra, I'm going to move it. Well, should I? Nah. Let's see. So you can do one of two things. I'm making a mess. All right. So you can do one of two things. We have some fresh strawberries here. So you can get a strawberry. I'm just going to rinse this one off. You could put that in a separate container. Hi, Monica. Thank you for being here. Yep, I'm about to hop off from my next meeting. But you could take your fruit. This is obviously a fresh strawberry. Put it in there. Got your yogurt. Oh, my God. For me, excellent. Honestly, strawberry is a little bit on the tart side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take them out and I'm going to cut them up and sprinkle them on top. So let's get the darker strawberries. We'll just go with four. All right, we're just going to rinse these off. <clears throat> and I'm just going to cut them into quarters really quickly. Put them on top. Oh, that's not the knife. Take the stems off. You can... Um, keep the tops if you want, dry the leaves for tea, or eat them to help out your tummy. I'm just cutting them in half, cutting them in half, cutting them in half again. Half, turn, half, oh, just quarters. And then if your fruit is not naturally sweet, you can use sugar or a sugar substitute. I could have tasted one of these strawberries and then sprinkle them with some sweetener and just put it in the fridge with the sweetener. Just let it sit there and macerate. All right, so you guys see what's happening? Uh-oh. Lost one. We got our cut up strawberries. But chocolate solution, since you're here. When I want actual chocolate, this is what I use. These are the Lily's Stevia Sweetened. Dark chocolate is dairy-free, so this is how I get my sugar-free, dairy-free chocolate fix. So I'm going to put 
a handful in the yogurt. Mm. Mm. Oh, so good. Sorry, y'all. <clears throat> and I'm greedy. So we have some chocolate chips on here. Sugar-free chocolate chips. And I'm just going to put our fresh cut strawberries into our chocolate yogurt, chocolate syrup yogurt. And if it's still not sweet enough for you, you could use a little bit of powdered sweetener. I'm going to use the Truvia. And I mean just a little bit. Really need a, um, what's it called? A sifter. And then we're going to taste it. All right. So now we have a little dessert parfait. Ooh, you could even do So now I'm going to take a taste. Let me take a picture first because y'all know I just dive in there. Cookbook photos. And I will enjoy. All right, let's give it a try. Looks and sounds good. Yogurt parfait with the skinny syrups, sugar-free chocolate chips. That is a little bit of whipped cream. You can leave that off and fresh strawberries. Oh my God. Y'all, oh my God, Monica, I am on it, dog gone it. If you like texture, the little sugar-free chocolate chips in there give you that crunch. Mm. Mm. The yogurt isn't bitter anymore because we put the chocolate syrup in there, sugar-free chocolate syrup. Y'all, when I tell you, Y'all can make a yogurt parfait. Take whatever fruit you have, cut it up. Could be apples, could be blueberries, whatever. Take a yogurt flavor that you don't like. The skinny syrups are so versatile. Mm. Mm. If you like the chocolate covered strawberry experience, yeah, make it at home. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm gonna jump into this bowl and eat my way out. I do have a course. <clears throat> If you're curious how you can get monetized on YouTube, after I took lead attorney's course, I learned so much, but I didn't know how you actually make income on YouTube. I was monetized in four months, which is actually pretty quick. I have a course for you all. Link is in the description. Discount code is thanks TLA altogether. Regular price is 50 dollars. It's two hours and uh, 15 videos. You can watch one from beginning to end for free as a preview. I take you through my process with the watch hours, with the um, 
getting the subscribers, how you apply for the program, because I thought it was going to be auto magic. It's not. Once you get a thousand subscribers, it's not hard, but it is a process. And so if that's something that would be interesting for you or someone you know, please check out my course. It's called Guide to YouTube Monetization. I thank you all so much for being here. This is my stream for the day. I'm glad we got to have lunch together. Um, I stream every day. What time? I don't know. I take a look at my schedule and the kids' schedule, and then I decide from there. So please make sure you're subscribed, and we'll be together tomorrow, and we'll make something scrumptious. But until then, I'm going to take this parfait to my next meeting. And um, thank you all so much for supporting. Excuse me. Just being here makes my day. This is an absolute labor of love for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whether you're watching live or the replay, I appreciate